squirrel. This is a tree squirrel, not a ground squirrel. It's a pretty big one. Adjusting the scope. Get ready. It was a drag hit to the back. Shot its back. Now the nerve system just runs away. This will be a ground squirrel. You can tell from the body color differences. This one lives in the ground. Let's see where it is. So currently the window is closed. Slowly coming out. Try to open the window. Which is always the hardest part. I'm getting up slowly. Walk over to the window. You hear it swing? Look at his face. It's gone. So I kind of cracked the window. I heard it. Here's an, the sand squirrel came back. The window is still closed. Uh, it's a hot day in California, so I closed the window fairly quick. Need to make sure this squirrel stays. And I can try to open the window again. Like it's happy with the peanuts. The shell peanut really allowed the squirrel to stay. Okay, I'm gonna try to open the window and nail him on the hill. Nope, oh, again. Now the window is opened. I just decided to wait for a while. Because it has a taste of the peanut. I wanna come back again. Likes going back to the same spot where he left. The window is open this time. I'm adjusting the camera. I'm going back to the gun. No laser for this guy. And he saw me. Too much movement. I will get you, squirrel. Okay, the window is open. The laser already turned on. Adjusting just a little bit. Because it's closer. It's coming in. It's waiting for it. It's coming on the right side from the tree. So I get everything all set up. So when you show up, I will do the hit instantly. Point to the tree, sneaky, and came right back down when he's busy. Ready? It's an air shot. There's no round in the chamber. I believe something wrong with the cocking. There's no round in the chamber. The scope mount shake quite a bit, so it didn't do us a good job to see what's happened. It didn't seem like there's any pellets going out, and the, from the sound of the pellet gun, it didn't feel like there's a pellet in it. Now the squirrel is back again. This time, it's 
closer. Okay. So I have to aim a little higher. Just a little bit higher. Just in scope. Getting ready. Then see me for the armpit. And it's a hit. Through the neck and a jar bone. Right there. So the green laser is a little low, but I'm aiming a little higher using the laser where it projects. I believe it will hit high. And it did. Right behind the ear. It might just broke his neck. The shockwave. This is a fairly fast pellet. And it's a Diablo shape, so very accurate. just struggling right now. It's not a headshot, so it'll move quite a bit. It came around the tree and went into that hole. But it was struggling the whole time. I believe it's gonna come out of the hole and just fall right out. Sometimes it struggles so much in there, uh, it comes out, so I wait for a while. I am such an idiot. I forgot to hit recording. But that's where the school will end up. Yeah, I waited for a while, turn off the camera, and as soon as I do that, this on the top. The squirrel came out from the top. Down. Then it was a perfect shot. You can see how bloody the head is. Uh, it's probably struggled quite a bit in the hole. Brought back to the top of the hill. It's a head shot. It's more like a neck shot. This is an uh, after video comedy. And that's how far it fell down from there. From here to there. Here for the coyote and eagles to eat it. And this squirrel was gone within maybe an hour after I put it on top. Please hit like, follow, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.